Hi, I'm Rita Wilkins, also known as the Downsizing Designer. I just want to take a minute to wish you all a wonderful Thanksgiving and very happy holiday season. And as you're sitting around your beautiful dining room table or kitchen table this Thursday, I just want you to know how much I appreciate being invited into your homes, your businesses, and your lives for the last 35 years. I just want you to know what a difference you've made to me. I hope that I've been able to contribute to you and your lives in some significant way as well. But I just wanted you to know how much I appreciate you and how grateful I am for you. Thank you. So those of you that have been following my downsizing journey where I downsized from a very large home to my tiny little jewel box apartment here in Philadelphia, you know that I speak around the country now about the impact of living with less, so much less. I've never been happier and I have all I want and all I need. So something has been on my mind lately, particularly because we're coming upon um, Black Friday, this coming Friday, which is the beginning of the buying season where millions of Americans will get up early. They will go um, compete for the best parking spaces. They will stand in very long lines, all to buy more stuff. These frenzied shoppers um, <clears throat> will empty their wallets They'll be buying gifts for themselves and for others. Many things they don't need and many things they don't even want. So it does cause a tremendous amount of stress and overwhelm this gift buying season. And many people are very guilty about the amount of money that they actually spend. Um, there was a study recently that many people actually lose sleep over how much they spend during the holidays. And to think that the day before Thanksgiving Day, we sat around that beautiful table and gave thanks um, for our many blessings and for all the stuff that we already have. And yet the very next day we go out and buy more. So the stress for sure is real, but the question becomes, is it really necessary? What would it be like to not have that stress and overwhelm so that you could actually enjoy the holidays as it was intended. So my question would be, why not do something differently this year? And I'm going to challenge you to experience the joy of missing out on Black Friday. Yes, the joy, not the fear, the joy of missing out on Black Friday. If you could simply skip Black Friday this year and ignore the pressures to buy and ignore the sense of obligation to give gifts. What would that be like? Instead, why not create a gift-free Christmas and holiday where you create more opportunities to sit around that table, <clears throat> share food, wine, play games, tell stories, and have wonderful conversations. Create more opportunities to experience the true meaning of the holiday season. <clears throat> By the gift of your presence is far more meaningful than giving more presents that they may not even want or need. <clears throat> so the thought of reinventing your holiday season this year um, and making them gift free. Resist buying more stuff and instead <clears throat> do more stuff with the people that you love. <clears throat> Here are just a couple of ideas that you could um, consider during the gift free holidays um, that will maybe not give a gift, but it'll give cherished memories. So one might be making dinner together taking turns being the lead chef or the sous chef, um, taking turns planning the menus um, and shopping together. 
Another might be to invite friends over for a good old-fashioned potluck dinner where you really don't know what's going to show up, but you relax, enjoy, not just the food, but the people, the most important part. Another would be to just spend more time sitting around that kitchen table, playing board games, card games, telling stories, and just enjoying the conversations. Another might be to write letters to the soldiers um, and <clears throat> our troops who don't have the opportunity to come home this holiday season. Another, visit elderly or visit shut-ins. See what a difference you make in their lives and watch what a difference it'll make in yours as well. Um, so the other would be maybe to take the family hikes and walks and bike rides. Um, get outside and just enjoy being with each other. So brainstorm ideas that your family might enjoy for this new kind of tradition. <clears throat> for me, one of the things that I did um, a couple of years ago was to simplify decorating around the holidays. At one point in my life, I spent weeks and weeks decorating and buying and wrapping presents and as much as I might have enjoyed it, I look back now and I realize how much time it took away from um, my family and my loved ones. And yes, the house was beautiful, but frankly, it's just as beautiful now. It's just so much easier. It literally takes me not more than 30 minutes to decorate my beautiful little apartment right now. So living simpler with less and enjoying each other more. <clears throat> And last of all, it's most important to just relax and just enjoy this beautiful season. And remember that more stuff will not bring more happiness, but more time and experiences with your loved ones will. So discover the joy of a new gift-free holiday tradition and create memories that will last a lifetime. Have a wonderful holiday season I'd love to hear what you and your family create for this new tradition, should you choose to accept my challenge. And go to my website, RitaWilkins.com, sign up for a free download, the Quick Start Guide to Designing the Life You Love. I'd love to hear from you and um, let me know how your holidays are. Have a great time.